welcome review guys this is spark os energized and very latest build this is actually released yesterday and here is the review if you are looking for the best room then this is gonna be another best room for you guys along with ancient os and voltage os of course and the user interface is a bit different so that's why i personally like it hope you guys also like it so let's get into the full review first of all let me show you from the settings and about section we have the very latest android version and very latest security update so don't worry about that and really thanks to the maintainer who is techno start so here is the Selenex status enforcing and very latest kernel from lineage OS plus so this is it and after that we have system and you guys will get both files that means both rom g apps build and vanilla build i'm using here a vanilla build i always recommend you guys to use vanilla build and if you face a problem with finding a proper g apps then you can go with the g apps build otherwise use vanilla build for better performance so here is that and gesture you guys can see navigation gesture you guys can customize the navigation pillbar like radius and length here you guys can see gesture navbar length and you guys can uh, change the radius as well so here you guys can see on the bottom i'm using here this is it and you guys can enable swipe three finger screenshot here and press and hold power button and everything just awesome in that row and here is the digital well-being working without any issue everything is pretty much fine and, and i found battery backup is really great in that room uh, compared to uh, pixel experience so here is that and of course we have only the fingerprint no app lock and no face unlock for now because this is android 12 and in future we will get it don't worry about that and here is the launcher by default you guys will get launcher launcher so which is great really great i personally like it so you guys know about accessibility what you have and you have we have your wallpaper and style like dark theme and app grid you guys can select no problem and after that you have display as usual the normal settings are there actually all necessary settings are available and after that we have sound storage sound section you guys can see the media volume the, actually the user interface is a bit different uh, you guys can see the radius and the length everything is changed here media volume call volume everything a different user interface is here and i personally like it and you guys can change dial pad tones turn off or turn on whatever and here is the storage you guys can see you guys can directly uh, access here apps games and here you guys will get system image audio videos trash so that's it and here is the battery section you guys will get and after that notifications and here is the customization hub you guys can say which is fireworks and which is pretty much different user interface comes with so you guys will get monad engine here that means you guys can use the monad engine that means the theme colorfulness brightness according to your choice you guys can use use wallpaper color if you don't want to use wallpaper color then just turn that off and if you want then just turn this on so this is it and on the top you guys can see here the signal icons and the wi-fi icons has been changed and you guys will be able to change it so no problem with that and here you guys can see lock screen clock style you guys can change just like default that means android 12 and if you want to is funny then you guys can use an oos that means oxygen os spark and spark circuit whatever you guys can select and we have extra theme icons that means here is the icon pack which is a heroes i'm using here here is the icon packs you guys can use and here is the icon shape square i'm using right here and i already changed harmony os uh, font you guys can select that font no problem and customize footer you guys can uh, set it according to your choice footer text whatever you need and material theme is 
this dim is actually here button and here is the animation style animation duration tiles animation i'm using that means if you click it will rotate like this and this is the animation actually when you turn on and turn off and here on the top you guys can see the clock you guys can also change the clock design you can make it here here different kinds of notifications are there you guys can also are able to change those things and i will show you, you guys show you guys And here you guys can see QS clock picker. This is the QS clock picker. I'm using here this one, and which name is Spark Clock 2. And if you want like I uh, oxygen OS, then click on that, and you guys can see now it's become like oxygen OS. And if you want to use the number one spark clock, then it will look like this. Here you guys can see, and here is the time and date. You guys can select according to your choice no problem and all the necessary system settings are there brightness slider you want to show up your brightness slider on the top or bottom you guys can select that too no problem with that and animations you guys already know about that so after that let me show you here is the lock screen always on display schedule you guys can uh, set according to your choice and here is the smart space you guys can enable and here is the great system settings you guys can see enable wallpaper zoom if you want wallpaper zoom then enable this one if you don't then just disable i don't need that that's why i am not using that one and remember one thing when you enable the wallpaper zoom just do a reboot of a device and it will work and after that we have status bar all the necessary customizations and volte working without any problem and you guys can access uh, your internal storage uh, from recovery so no problem and remember one thing uh, this room actually stuck on recovery and I already provided the video how you guys can pass the uh, recovery stock issue so watch that video from the given link in description and here is the other customizations clock settings carrier level you guys already know about that all those necessary system settings and battery icons uh, you guys can set whatever you need and after that we have a status bar gesture and here is the status bar actually you guys watch already watch and then you guys can see here double tap to wake and everything is working without any problem and for that we have miscellaneous here all the necessary customizations are there so i think you guys can uh, check yourself no problem this is gonna be a great room for you and volte is working in that without any problem in that room And here is the Wi-Fi calling, carrier video calling, everything. And this is gonna be great butter smooth room, great butter smooth room. You guys can see here, app opening and closing. And you guys will get call recording option in that room if you flash G apps uh, later. Actually, I already flashed. That's why it got replaced with the Google Dialer. So that's why I'm not getting any call recording options here. And here I'm using the Nick Gaps. You guys can easily use that Nick Gaps. I will provide the link in description without any problem you guys can use and let me show you some things uh, which is uh, of course you guys will get the gameplay at the end of this video and here you guys can see you guys can access the internal storage from recovery and here is the CPU throttle to 89% which is great and let me show you the Geekbench score room is really battery smooth and RAM management is great so no issues with that and which is decent actually 263 double one one eight really great all those things and you guys can set clock and you guys can uh, check actually according to your choice and we have five clock widgets when you click one you guys will be actually there is no space and if i want to try you guys can select so many clock items are there and you guys can also set there so three clocks are there and this is the stopwatch you guys can see here this stopwatch if you click here it will start running so this is it and if you click here you guys can set and you guys can reset like this so this is it and i already rooted my device so by default safety net will be passed
by default safety net will be passed and if you flash magics that means remember one thing you must flash magics canary version that means magics pro very latest version so before you do so let me show you how can you pass the safety net as the system is by default safety net passed so then go to the setting and here you guys can see enable gigisk click on that and deny list enable both things and then give it a reboot and here you guys can see gigisk is no so that means you need to reboot your device just reboot your device click here and reboot to system that means only just click on reboot and here is the boot animation you guys can see which is really great and different which is spark os so device booted successfully now we need to do some other things to pass the safety net so open magix again and then go to settings and just scroll down and you guys can see here the gigisk we already rebooted our device and here now you guys can see gigisk is enabled that means yes so you can go to setting and then scroll down and here you guys will be able to see configure denial list and just click on three dot menu just click on show system applications and here you guys can see play services just type on search and here you guys can see play google play services just click on that and here you guys will get android gms just enable that one and scroll down you guys will get gms unstable just click on that and here you guys can see we are done just get back now you guys can go to your safety net status now let me check it should pass the safety net right now so you guys can see safety net got passed this is the easiest way you guys can pass the safety net and i really love this room which is great you guys can see here really a butter smooth experience you guys will get in that room and no lag and starter no lag and starter when you were just scrolling the no control center and this is great and now you guys can watch the gameplay uh, before we start gameplay let me show you the camera this is a different camera i don't know what which camera is that just like uh, you guys can scan your qr scan Q, qr code you guys can score and he, here you guys can enable the torch light and here is the qr code and data matrix so many things and here is the uh, some other options you guys can access and you guys can of course uh, click photos and here is the quality latency whatever you need and you guys can enable grid lines when you guys can enable the torch so many things are there but very decent and normal and here is the video section and you guys can easily short video here let me show you you guys can shoot video in ultra hd that means 2160 pixel you guys can shoot video and here you guys can see it's working without any problem and you guys can see here green signal that means it's accessing your storage so this is it and video saved this is really great i think and you guys can easily use without any problem this is the best room i got for now actually you guys can see another best room and gcam is working without any problem so you guys can easily use which is arnova zcam i already provided the video and here is the recent menu you guys can see if you want to use the split screen just click here and you are good to go you guys can easily use the split screen so that's the thing you guys can easily use and now let's see how is the gaming performance actually i already flashed the magix module to enable 90 fps actually 60 fps i already provided that uh, video if you guys happen to watch that 
then you guys can watch it so now let's move on to the gaming performance so here you guys can see the graphic settings in spark os i already used the magix module and you guys already uh, have seen that i already flashed the magix module so let's play one match and let's see So very fast in picking up guns, I'm getting 60 FPS, I'm really sure about that, very fast, very fast, another best gaming room I guess can, uh, I can see you guys, really really very smooth experience in gaming, really very great great, I'm just loving the room very much. So this is it. Okay. Who's there? So you can see scope in and out very fast. Okay, let's take a ride. Really very small. So I think you guys got an idea how is the gaming performance in that room which is really really very great. You guys can believe me in that room you guys can easily play games without any problem. This is really a great room I'm just loving this. So thank you for watching guys.